Hi, today we're going to do some creative sound design with Fowley samples in Bitwig Studio. My name is Matthias and this is MorningDewMedia.com, so let's go! Alrighty, so here we have an empty track and we will begin with loading up a sampler. Then we need to find a suitable sample to work with for this uh, sound. And uh, maybe this uh, gong loop will be fun to use. Today I plan to do a Rhodes piano kind of sound because uh, we want to have some chill out sounds today. It's Friday, so it's going to be chill out stuff. We need to press this uh, key track button because we want a sampler to key track the pitch of the keyboard. Okay, let's uh, bump up the attack a little bit so we don't have that snappy beginning. Then we need to increase the decay. Let's set the uh, sampler to cycles mode and the speed to zero so that it's uh, playing one cycle repeatedly. And then we can play with this uh, format to get uh, more overtones in the sound. It's already starting to sound quite chilly, so we're on the right path. And how about if we press the sampler here, we can go into our info pane at the left side and bump up the notes to, to two voices. Then we will make sure that the track spread spreads the panning. of the voices. We can also drag down the, the gain a little bit. Maybe a little bit of... Let's drag down the decay slightly. sustain a little bit too. So let's add a little classic LFO here at the modulator section and press the skeleton key and animate the formant. And increase the rate. a little bit of sip of coffee. We need to decrease the amount so that it's not so drastic because uh, the sound will, the patch will sound a little bit drunk if you have too much uh, formant variation going on. Just some subtle movement. And then add a second classic LFO and make sure to, to have some auto panning going on. Then you can also add in this effect section of the sampler, press that and, and add a EQ5. Now we can actually boost and get some more high end from this sample. Ok, 
can see there's a lot of low end, so let's cut that out. Because when we're playing a lot of notes, it will be a lot of low end building up. Yeah, that's better. And now a little fun part, we can add a resonating peak with this EQ. You can use uh, the second or third or whichever of these peaks you want. And add a little bit of talk to this electric piano. And open up the modulator section of the EQ and we can add a HDSR. And we can have this go up for each key press that we do. bit fast so we will increase the, the decay yeah and uh, let's add a reverb And the wet effect, we will add a EQ5 and cut out the, the highs and the lows. So we just have the, the meat of the reverb. Maybe add long. Drag down the mix slightly. Okay, so now we have this uh, this ever evolving little piano sound, and then maybe add a little bit of attack sound to this too. So we have uh, some transient to it also. So we can go and add an instrument layer at the beginning of this uh, track instrument layer and then drag this uh, sampler into the instrument layer and now if we close it we can see that all these uh, devices resides within the instrument layer and now we can go ahead and add yet another sampler and we need some sound with with attack so let's see if we can find some lamp chains clunks clanks That's a quite cool sound. a little bit of reverb to this so it's it's not so tight and we can add a little bit of delay to that sound too Maybe key track this. Uh, I made a resonating filter in the in the sampler here, and maybe we can move this uh, 
with the key tracking. So we add the three key tracking. It's a quite cool sound. Let's go back to the first part of the sound, the gong sample, which is uh, which is the meat of our sound. Yeah, we need to add a compressor at the end here too, to glue this sound into one. Okay, so let's go back to the gong sample and we will add a blur or the chorus effect to get a little bit more stereo spread on this sound. Okay, so that's how you create uh, electronic Rhodes uh, similar piano with the sampler in uh, Bitwig Studio. Yeah, so if you want to grow as a creative and uh, grow your brand in 2019, I put together a document called the Creative Booster Guide 2019 with some tips and tricks to uh, put you in the right mindset to create uh, content and uh, never again run into the writer's block. Okay, so thanks for watching today and please subscribe and give it a like, write in the comments or questions in the comments field and now you can continue and watch my next video. Thanks for watching today, my name is Matthias, see you in the next video. Bye bye!